Hey guys, welcome back to Review Wednesday! Today we are talking about Constable and Soup by Gareth P. Jones, and yes, it was the cover that led me to pick up this book. You know that saying, don't judge a book by its cover? Unfortunately, I find that I really do. A lot of times when I'm browsing in the library, the books that I pick up are because they have really intriguing covers, and this cover is absolutely gorgeous. Sorry if I sound weird, I'm getting over a cold, so if I sound really stuffy, that's, that's why. This is a children's book. It's about a boy named Sam who is a talker, meaning he can see and talk with ghosts, and he sometimes helps them out with things, but then something bad happens. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really good at the evil laugh, sorry. It's more of a fun ghost story than a horror ghost story. It would be good for kids, so long as they're more mature readers, uh, just because there are some dark topics that are dealt with this. They do touch on the subjects of murder and serial killing, and it's not gruesome or gross or anything, but it is there, and it's kind of dark. It was a very clever idea. I loved the way that Jones used his ghosts and designed his ghost world and how they interacted with the real world. I fell in love with this book on page one. Okay, it was actually before that. Praise for Constable and Toop, a ghost story extraordinaire. These are quotes from different authors, you know, telling the world how much they loved this book. From wonderful authors such as the ghost of Mary Shelley, the ghost of Charles Dickens, the ghost of Sir Conan Doyle, and the list goes on. Talk about your brilliant marketing. I loved it. It amused me. I laughed so hard when I read that, and it was just such a brilliant idea to promote a ghost story, and when I read the story, it actually, it really fits in with the way that Gareth B. Jones has done his ghost world, and so it was just so incredibly clever, and I want to shake the hand of whoever came up with that idea for this book, because it was, it was really good. <laughs> The plot is intricate, and it goes all over the place, and it's awesome because you're over here in this subplot and thinking, how in the world is this going to line up with this subplot, or what does it have to do with everything? And they all line up eventually, and they all connect, and I thought he did a really good job um, with the layout of the story as well as the writing of it, just because it's so intricate, and it's it involves so many characters in so many different uh, situations and kind of lines of work and stuff that... He managed to bring them all together concisely and to have it all make sense in the end. He told the story both from the perspective of the living and the dead, so it wasn't just from one or the other, it was from both, and I thought that was uh, really interesting. So um, I, I think he did a really good job of clearly telling the story from all of these different perspectives. My only complaint with this story is that this, some of the storylines, like I said, there's, there's a lot of storylines and a lot of subplots and they all ended, and there were like no cliffhangers, and it was all tied up very nicely. Of all the, the endings, there were two that I was really satisfied with, and then the rest of them were just kind of anticlimactic, and I felt that they were too sudden. I would really love to see um, another book from Gareth B. Jones with these characters, because I felt that there, there is still some more that he can do with that. And even with some of those unsatisfactory endings, it was still an excellent story. It's a great plot. Uh, the mystery, there is a mystery, is very intricate, and it kind of keeps you guessing, and it really pulls you into the story. And another thing, I have a really healthy respect for him because he was not afraid to uh, kill off some characters. That took me initially by surprise, but um, it really worked for, you know, a story that deals with ghosts and murder and serial killers. So, yeah. Again, very clever idea and masterfully executed by Gareth P. Jones. The whole idea, his whole ghost world is just, it's awesome. I really do like it. So definitely one I would recommend. I will probably read this again. It would make a great October book because it's both a mystery, which for some reason October for me is always mystery month, but it also has ghosts, so it would be the perfect book for a Halloween read, especially for someone who doesn't actually like creepy things, like me. So that's all from me. Yeah. <laughs>